Hey guys, SD8 here, and today we have a Nuclear Throne how-to video. Now, this is how to get all of the characters in Nuclear Throne. First off, we have Fish, Crystal, Eyes, Melting, Plant, YV, which is short for Young Venus, Steroids, Robot, Chicken, Rebel, Horror, and Rogue. But first off, let's start out with Fish, shall we? Now, Fish's passive is that Fish gets bonus ammo from ammo packs and ammo chests. Fish can also roll. That's his active. Now, Fish isn't unlocked. Fish comes with the game along with the next character we'll be discussing. And Fish is a pretty good all-round character. So I recommend him for beginners. If you, you know, want to get to know Nuclear Throne better. Next up is Crystal. Now, Crystal is a very, very beefy character. Crystal spawns with two bonus HP as her passive, and her active is a shield that can deflect and nullify most bullets and contact damage, but it does not nullify melee damage or explosions, so keep an eye out for that. Also, another thing is that Crystal is unlocked alongside Fish at the very start of the game. So basically she's one of the very starting characters. Crystal is very, very beefy. So I, I recommend a good strong teeth build with Crystal. Next up is Eyes. Now Eyes is, well, Eyes. Eyes is unlocked by going all the way through 1-3 and making your way to the sewers, which is 2-1. Now, 2-1 is pretty dark, but you unlock eyes here. Now, eyes' is passive is that eyes can see in very dark places. Eyes' is active is telekinesis. Now, telekinesis is useful for dragging you know, weaponry through portals to take to the next level. And active also pulls enemies while pushing bullets. Eyes is very much a defensive character. Next up is Melting. Now, Melting is unlocked via dying for the first time. You go, dying as any character. Now... Melting. Melting is weird. Melting's passive is that Melting starts with 2 HP. Now, a lot of things do more than 2 HP, so you're going to be dying a lot on the first hit. Um, Melting also, as a trade-off, gets one bonus radiation from all of the enemies killed. So you're going to be leveling up fast as Melting. Um, Melting's active is that Melting can explode corpses into blood explosions. Now, blood explosions, n like, destroy enemy bullets. So, it's, it's pretty good for defense. And that about wraps it up for Melting. Now, next up is Plant. Now, Plant is pretty weird because Plant moves you know, a lot faster than the other characters, so it's a lot easier to make some of these dodges. And Plant's active is a snare. Now, you have an unlimited amount of snares, but you can only have one out at a time. Now, the bigger an enemy is, the less effective a snare is going to be against it. Now, in the transition levels, a snare can actually be used as a light source. So it's pretty helpful to see what's going on past that, you know, out into the darkness. Now, to unlock plant, you have to make it to the scrapyard for the first time. Now, the scrapyard is pretty useful. You know, make it to 3-1 scrapyard, yay. Now, the scrapyard is a big part of 
the next character we're going to talk about. Next up is YV. Now, YV is peculiar because it's one of those characters you have to do something very specific to get. YV's passive is that YV spawns with a higher fire rate. And YV's active is the ability to pop your weapons, which expands more ammo, increases the reload time, but, you know, adds firepower. Now, in order to get YV, you have to first get a screwdriver. Next up, you have to make it to the scrapyard, and you have to find this very specific gold car, and you have to hit it with the screwdriver. Now, once you do this, you make it to YV's mansion. Well, I'll explain YV's mansion in another video. But that about wraps it up for YV. Next up is Steroids. Now, Steroids is a pretty fun character. His passives is that he's inaccurate, but all of his weapons are fully automatic. So you can just hold down whatever your fire button is and you can fire. Now, his active is firing the other weapon since steroids is so strong he's able to dual wield all of the weapons so this is pretty fun now to unlock steroids you have to make it to the labs for the first time now the labs is right after the frozen city the lab is six dash one and yeah, that's how you unlock steroids. Now, steroids can lead to some pretty fun combinations. Just just look at how beautiful this is. It's it's so beautiful, sniff sniff. So if you want to have a fun time, play with steroids. Now, next up is Robot. Now, Robot's passive is the ability to find better tech. Robot is also able to eat his weapons to either gain HP or gain ammo, sometimes both, sometimes just one or the other. Now, of course, it also depends on what type of weapon you're eating, like accursed weapons or gold weapons. So, yeah. That's Robot's active and passive. Now, to unlock Robot, you have to make your way past the Crystal Caves and onto the... Frozen City for the first time. Now, this might be a challenge for a lot of newer players since this is past Big Dog. So, if you, you know, want to experience the game, like, you're not bad but you're not good either, then play as Robot and you'll be able to find some extra weapons that might help you pass the little hunter fight. Now, Robot, little unique thing about Robot is his special tooltips are in hexadecimal code, and they're also very aggressive toward life forms, specifically humans. So yeah, that's Robot. Next up is Chicken. Now, Chicken is a pretty cool character. Chicken is a she, by the way. Now, Chicken has the ability to throw her weapons, but that's her active. Now, her passive is whenever she dies, she goes into a headless state. And this headless state, if she gets any HP, she is able to come back to life. Now, of course, that's that's pretty useful. Now, to unlock chicken, it, it's one of those specific things you have to do again. You have to go to a specific level. Now, to unlock chicken, you have to get the mutation Last Wish before 5-1. Once you get Last Wish on 5-1, there is a flower around that you have to feed HP to. Now, once you find that flower, it's it's very distinct and it's pretty cool looking. But you feed the flower HP and whenever you feed it, you know, a good amount of HP, there's a flower right there, it takes you to a special level called the jungle. Now, the jungle it gives you the same lineup of mutations and also you know if you level up another set but the jungle is really difficult because it has these bush assassins and bush assassins are a bad time 
But, of course, that pretty much wraps up Chicken. A ride or die kind of character. So, uh, yeah. Next up, we have Rebel. Now, Rebel's passive is every time Rebel goes through a portal, she gets half of her health that's missing restored. So, say for example, go through a portal with one out of eight health and it's rounded down of course you get three health back now rebels active is that she can spawn these uh, guards or allies as you can call them and when they dry die they have a chance to drop ammo or health and they can also they can also give you radiation now the thing about rebel is you unlock rebel by looping now looping this is probably one of the last characters you're going to get looping is pretty difficult for people to do especially starting off so you're probably going to kill the throne before you loop i'll have an entire separate video on looping here in a bit now the thing about this is Rebel is not really a loop capable character in my opinion unless you have the right setup. Rebel is very very strategic in a way that it's just Rebel is some mostly hard to work with. You can play Rebel like she had a really good passive or you can play Risky Rebel with guards everywhere. But, uh, yeah, looping, and that's how you unlock Rebel. Now, next up, we have Horror. This, you can go through the entire game without knowing how to unlock Horror. Like, this is one of those things that you get by accident. But, here's how you get Horror. You have to skip two rad canisters in a row. And then Horror spawns, you have to fight them and kill them in order to unlock Horror. So, the passive about horror is horror gets an extra mutation pick whenever you level up. So instead of four, he gets five. If you have Crown of Destiny, you get two picks. And here is me showing off the example. Now, his active is a radiation beam, destroys bullets, and with this thrown but it's able to heal. It gets bigger and bigger the longer you use it. And here is horror. It looks different than the actual player character does, but yeah, horror is a butt. Like he he sucks a lot. So good luck trying to get him. And finally, we have Rogue. Now Rogue is supposed to spawn with the Rogue rifle, but it's kind of broken at the moment. So yeah, Rogue's passive is Rogue has blast armor. Whenever Rogue gets hit she explodes into a portal explosion which destroys bullets um rogue another one of rogue's passive is she's chased by the idpd everywhere so yeah rogue's active is a portal strike she can call down an airstrike on a certain like line area it it does a considerable amount of damage, so it's pretty useful. Um, Rogue is very interesting from a lore perspective. Like, Rogue is a former IDBT, IDP, IDPD member, so having used to portal strikes and stuff like that is pretty good. Now, to unlock Rogue, you have to kill the throne. Not loop, you have to kill the throne and sit on it. And that's how you unlock Rogue. Now, the thing about Rogue is... I, I don't like Rogue that much, but it is fun to play as Rogue. Now, from a lore perspective, Rogue is just so cool. I mean, like, former IDPD member is all like, yo, how's it going? 
I'm gonna wreck up the wasteland revolution and all that. It, it's pretty amazing. But Rogue in total is just awesome. Like, I, I don't know that many breaking builds with Rogue, but Rogue's just fun to play as. And this is also how you get ending one. I'll explain endings and all that fun stuff. But this is how you unlock Rogue. And that about wraps it up for all the characters. I'm not going to do the secret ones like Skeleton and uh, Frog yet. I'll, I'll have separate videos on them at some point. But yeah. That's all the characters for Nuclear Throne. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys, L-A-T-E-R, later.